Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable with my money and finances using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being. So hi, hope you're all doing well. It has been a while since I've done a check-in because I did it quite early last time. Um, so there's quite a bit to kind of catch up on. And obviously in that time I have been away in Sicily with some friends for a long weekend. Um, sweating our tits off because it was really hot <laughs> excuse my french but yeah it was so so hot um but we had some amazing food and uh saw some really pretty sights so <clears throat> totally worth it so i have uh just kind of popped on the last couple of days of uh last month into this uh kind of check-in just because i had cash stuff before i actually got paid so yeah, that's why those bits are there, but you probably wouldn't even noticed, but I'll just explain it anyway. So yeah, there we go. Uh, so on Wednesday, <clears throat> I put £20 deposit down for my next lash appointment and also had a takeaway at £17, which came out of the food budget and lash deposit came out of my spending money and the beauty envelope as well. So on Thursday, um, I spent £18 on a voucher, which was a gift for a friend's birthday. And I also spent £5 on the lottery. And also £20 out of the holiday budget for the airport transfers. Um, we booked for their, from the airport to our hotel and back um, over the weekend. So on the Friday was when we left for Sicily. I think we woke up at like three o'clock in the morning and we were out of the house by 4 a.m. Um, we flew from Luton and at 7 a.m. we decided to have Burger King. So <laughs> um, we spent £9.64 <coughs> at the Burger King for breakfast, a chicken rail for breakfast. That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> but yeah. It's expensive, £9.64 for a Burger King, but I, th I feel like that's not too different from what you'd actually pay at a normal Burger King, not just airport prices now. So yeah, anyway, that was that. And then when we were in Sicily, we landed and we found a supermarket uh, called Pennies. So we went there and we spent, uh, well, I spent £10 and 30p on some snacks for the room. Um, we got olives and crisps and cookies and lumps of cheese that we could try. Um, so we were proper sta snacked up for the rest of the weekend. So that was good. Um, it, was, it was on my payday, so all my bills came out, which was £699.91 this month. Uh, I say all of my bills, majority of them. Um, and then we went out for food and we found a, a restaurant that had aircon which was a lifesaver because it was so hot um so we had we all had pizzas i ordered a margarita and my friend ordered um a margarita with chips on top which i would have thought the italians would probably looked down on but a lot of places did it like basically a margarita pizza with yeah french fries on top and my friend ordered that and then when it uh, turned up there were skin still on the chips <laughs> she doesn't eat skin on fries so we swapped i was not sad about it like <laughs> it was really tasty those chips were per cooked like to perfection they were like dead crispy and uh the dough on the pizza was just amazing not like heavy dough like you sometimes get um yeah it was bloody lovely and then also i had a really nice um espresso martini oh that was strong in both sense of like alcoholic and coffee so that was like yeah amazing i loved it so yeah that was like 15 euros um and then uh we wandered around the city for a bit and saw some sights uh we stayed in a place called catania which is where the airport was we thought we'd we have our base near the airport so we know that we could get ourselves to and from the airport with uh, hopefully n no uh, issues which which did turn out to be the case which was great and then um we went out and just had 
drinks in the evening to try and cool down after uh, wandering around and seeing some sights. So yeah, that was another 10 euros. Um, so yeah, some of this is pounds where I'd use my card and then euros is where I'd use my cash. Um, I only had about 60 euros. Um, so most of it is card, but yeah. So then on the Saturday, we had seen online, there's a little town just outside of Catania called Taormina and it looked dead picturesque. Um, so it was a, kind of similar to like the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Um, so we got the train, which was £8.96 for 10. And when we got there, there was a like an old kind of Greek amphitheatre that we um, had seen where you can get an amazing views of the coast um, and like the cliff tops and that of um, Taormina and uh, yeah, the coast of Sicily. So we paid to get in there, which was £11.62 and had a wander around, took some really nice photos of each other and the view. And yeah, that was, that was stunning up there. We also grabbed some coffee and uh, I've written an ice cream, obviously it's gelato in Italy. And again, um, all the coffee out there is so good, so good. Everywhere we went, it was really nice coffee and the ice cream is just like to die for. Um, <clears throat> on the way back, we popped into Lidl. Don't know what it is when you're abroad, like there is just something about going around the shops and the supermarkets, just having a look at all the different foods and stuff that they have. Um, in their Lidl, they had in the freezer section, um, like a pick and mix frozen fish, <laughs> if you can believe it. So you had like your little prawns in one there with a little scoop and your clams and scallops and yeah, chunks of fish, like chopped up mussels, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, you just kind of pick and mix it. Who'd known? But yeah, they're proper into like fish and that out there. So I guess it's quite normal. Um, and then we went to a really nice restaurant that was just kind of off like the main street. Um, had some really, really nice food there. Really nice drinks as well. So uh, that was £39.61 I spent there. Um, oh, and also we, we got the bus when we were in Taormina because the train station is at like the sea uh, on the beach. And then you need to get a bus to get you, like wind you up all the little steep roads to the top of um, like the cliff top where the actual town centre is. Um, and on Sunday, we liked it there so much, we got the train and went again, um, and we found that there was a film festival on, um, and it was the premiere for Italy for the new Indiana Jones film. So there was like the red carpet rolled out, um, big old letters and that for Taormina Film Festival, Indiana Jones posters and banners everywhere. Guys were there dressed up in a group, all dressed up as Indiana Jones, um, and we were like, what is going on? Are they actually having a, the film premiere? Or So we Googled it and, and yeah, it was like Harrison Ford was there, Tanya Banderas was there, Mads Mikkelsen was there. Like, unfortunately we couldn't hang around because we had to get a train back. But I mean, imagine bumping into Mads Mikkelsen. Oh, dreams come true. But yeah, fortunately it didn't happen. Um, uh, so yeah, we got the train again, we got the bus again. Um, uh, I spent £8.50 on some souvenirs which were three pens actually i didn't have i haven't got them with me but um i love a pen so yeah had to be done uh we spent 12 pounds on food in one restaurant and then 15.50 in another restaurant so yeah we had a couple of um meals out that day which was great and then Monday was our last day in Sicily, so um, we had a flight at 10 to 1 in the afternoon, so it was basically a, a get up, have breakfast, and then go. Um, so uh, at the airport, I spent £4.74 on a uh, souvenir for one of my friends because I owed her for, uh, I can't remember what it was, the tip, I think, for the taxi driver. Um, so yeah, I, I, I bought her something that she wanted in the airport to pay her back. I uh, also bought some water for £1.72, which I thought was quite reasonable because in the UK airport, it was like £2.50 for a bottle, like a 500ml bottle, absolute rip-off. Um, so yeah, it was much cheaper in Catania. Um, and also my Spotify bill came out at £8.50. 
Tuesday was a no spend day. Wednesday was a no spend day and also a £10 lottery win. Cha -ching. And then today is also a no spend day. And my switch offer came through of £150, which you will, if you haven't already watched, um, I've done like a bonus cash stuffing with that money from the lottery and also the switch. I'll get this out so I can highlight these no spend days. So yeah, um, Catania in Sicily. I personally wouldn't go back there. Um, it was quite <sighs> dirty. Um, <laughs> I can't ask, describe it any other way, really. Like, everywhere was graffitied. There was rubbish in the streets. Um, yeah, it was just it was just quite dirty. All, all the restaurants in that we went to, they were really, really nice. The food was great. And um, everybody was really pleasant and friendly. Um, but yeah, I don't know, there's something about the the rubbish there um it just goes out on the streets and stuff i guess it's oldie worldy is it that oldie worldy some of it is but the, the streets and that are quite wide so i don't see why they can't have wheelie bins and that anyway that's by the by but i would definitely recommend taomina um that was absolutely stunning beautiful little um coastal town Anyway, let's get on to what we've got left. So, when I was out there, um, my 100 and however much it was I saved for spending money didn't quite cover it, so I've spent my buffer that I've been saving with the Unicorn Savings Challenge. Um, also spent on well, spending money, so I just have 10p left. And there, um, I spent twenty pounds in petrol money. <clears throat> um, which actually didn't go into my tank. I used it uh, to pay my friend who did the driving down, um, and also uh, kind of split it across that and the airport transfer. She's contributed some of that towards that. Uh, so eating out has got thirteen pounds left, but that's monthly, so we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, beauty is empty, so we've spent that on what do you call it? Lash deposit. Uh, yoga gets rolled over, and miscellaneous still has got five pounds. So this is yeah all we've got left this week. So <clears throat> ten pounds and ten p. Go to the old penny savings and we'll cross out the ten pence. I feel like I've not really kind of had much to put in here for a while. Maybe next week I will, we'll see how we go. But yeah. Silver sausage, only one getting fed today. Never mind. So, what should we do with the ten pounds we've got left? Um, not sure. So, should we do one of the save a year? Have I got enough change in here for that? What do I need? I need three. No, is the answer. Let me just change some out here. What I might do is put three in here in the 26 week challenge and take out five, six, seven. off the three oh, what are we doing green oh, I always pick the wrong colours um, do the little X-Men logo <laughs> so 
So we've got in here now 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pounds. So then what I could do is condense them down and then take off the 19, maybe. So here we go. Um, I need to put that back in there. Okay. Yes, you do. I am tempted to do that, you know. I might do it off camera. Condense this down uh, to just have the 19s, then it'll be easier to like, take off the rest. Yay! That'll feel like I've got somewhere of that as well, you know what I mean? So, this last £7 will pop into the save the year. We we'll reckon on July. So, each letter is worth £7. I know it's not quite July yet, but I've already done June, so why not? <clears throat> it's very nearly July. So, yeah, let's pop that. In there, and then we've got three pound coins and twenty, thirty, forty, fifty five, so fifty eight pounds in total in there now. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this money, all this money really, and um, possibly feed them into other challenges. I'm not sure. But yeah. yeah, there we go. That is my check in. So thank you for listening to me waffle on about Sicily. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, um, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you've got any questions or just how your budget's going. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video where I'll cash stuff for June week five, I think. Was it July week one? I don't know. I'll be cashed off in there. All right. <laughs> Take care. Bye.